Hello there, happy Monday. Um, I don't know who this email's from, didn't put a name, but I know that they're from Berlin in Germany. And they write, I'm in recovery from anorexia about eight months now. After four months of giving, in to, giving myself permission to eat, my addiction with cigarettes slowed down real quickly. From one to another day, I lost the appetite for cigarettes. This for me feels like a miracle, even if it's not as surprisingly as it felt back then, because I always was so clear about how happy cigarettes make me. I used to smoke a substantial amount of cigarettes on a daily basis from age 12, 13, uh, until four months ago, age 21. Anorexia developed at about age 12. I used to believe that I love smoking, which sounds crazy to me now. But here's the point. Sometimes it is still a miracle for me, and even if, on the other hand, it makes total sense to me why I don't fancy cigarettes anymore when I don't restrict, compensate, or suppress myself, I can get so foggy-brained when thinking about it. It feels like my brain wants to tell me that recovery is just another brainwash. My best friend got into a cult, and I visited her there. It felt as foggy as I feel now when not believing in full recovery. Some kind of thoughts do constantly tell me that I, th I will stay with the, the belief that full recovery is possible. I will stay in this fog forever, and I keep on going and gaining and gaining weight because I will only lie to myself and get lazy in the following the guidelines to recover is not the answer. To cut a long story short, what's your opinion on brain fog and do you have any tips on how to declutter such thought patterns? Um, I'm a little confused as to what you mean by brain fog there because it sounds like um, you only feel about brain fog about when you think about full recovery. Um, when generally with eating disorders, many people get a sort of brain fog which is due to malnutrition, um, not eating enough food and not being able to think very clearly the sort of clouds their judgment but you're um likening it to how you felt when you um went and visited your friend in a cult um so i guess like i feel like your question is is full recovery possible yes absolutely um maybe you feel like you're just sort of kidding yourself that full recovery is possible I think it's really cool that you gave, like, no judgment on cigarettes, whatever, but if you wanted to give up smoking and you went into recovery and gave up smoking as well, that's great, good for you. Um, full recovery is absolutely possible. It makes biological sense that full recovery would be possible. So it's not really kind of quite as airy-fairy as you might think, oh, I'm just believing in unicorns. It makes biological sense as to why a person would develop a restrictive eating disorder when they experience energy deficit so it also makes full makes sense that if a person gets out of energy deficit and rewires any of the neural wiring that's taken place in the time that they've been in energy deficit which for you is um eight years or so so that's quite a long time there's going to be some rewiring there there's going to be some wiring to undo but it makes sense that of course that would become fully undone and I know that there's this, in the eating disorder field, there's this full recovery question. Some people call it remission, which it feels a bit ridiculous to me. Um, when you're fully recovered, you're, you're not in remission. Um, I guess they call it remission because they think, well, you could get an eating disorder again. But I could only get a restrictive eating disorder again if I allowed myself to go into energy deficit. And that's really easy to avoid, actually. Just making sure you eat enough food. And I think even if I got really sick and I had some reason why I really couldn't eat, I feel like I'd still be on top enough of this to know what the signs and symptoms of my eating disorder coming back would be or going into energy deficit would be that I'd be able to nip it in the bud. So I just, I can't see any way that or any situation really that would make me willingly go into energy deficit, I just wouldn't do it. Um, and so, I mean, I guess if we had a th World War Three, and there was like no food or something like that, but then we'd all probably be migrating and running anyway. I don't know, I'll think about that some more. <laughs> but so the, the, the remission thing, I think that yes, it's true that you, if you have the genetics for um, a migration response due to energy deficit, if you go into energy deficit again, then that might spring up again. But I think that most of us learn so much to, on the path to full recovery that we're never going to let that happen. And to me, that's a bit like saying that you're in remission from a cold. 
because it's very likely that you might get a cold again, but you don't say you're in remission every time you get better from cold. It's just, it, it just feels to me like calling it remission is just um, a little bit point, a, bit, a little bit redundant. You could call everything remission in that case. I got, a, you know, I got a headache and then it went, again, it went away, so I'm in remission from my headache because I can't promise that I'll never get a headache again. It's just like, it feels a bit redundant. Um, the rem word remission to me also sounds, a, it feels a bit like you're always fighting a little bit to stay in recovery. I'm certainly not. It's really, that's, and that's what I sort of see full recovery as, as the point where you actually are just like you'd never had an eating disorder before, apart from like obvious things that you can't reverse or undo. And I can't get 10 years back and I can't go back to uni and I missed all of those experiences and all that crap. But for all intents and purposes right now, mentally, I'm the person pretty much that I was before I had my eating disorder. Um, and the person that I was before my eating disorder wasn't sitting there all day, like worrying about food or it wasn't a conscious effort every day to feed myself. And it wasn't this thing that was a really big deal. And that's what it's like right now. Whereas the word remission says to me that it would still be like this daily struggle a little bit, despite the fact that I'm doing better. It's not, it's not. I'd be lying if I said eating was a daily struggle. I'd be lying that I said it was an exercise for me not to go and run myself stupid at the gym. It's just not, it's not, not a problem, which is great, right? So full recovery is possible. And I think that's probably all you need to know person in Berlin, Germany. Keep going. You can get there.